As you can see in the title and you can see on my screen, I've recently produced these dotted world maps for one of my master's projects. I've had quite a few people ask me how I did this, now I made them in Illustrator and the process is really simple, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do just that. So let's get into it. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is jump into Illustrator. As you can see I've got my Illustrator open. Now I've already created a blank artboard but if you guys don't know how to do this what we're going to do is we're going to click on file and we're going to go on new. Now if you've just opened the program you'll also have a create new button which will bring up the same pop up. Now I want to create a basic A3 page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the print tab and then click on view all presets. Now as you can see here we have A3 will be in portrait as you can see here with the orientation so I'm just going to hit on the landscape and then hit create. Now what, I or what I've already done is I've gone onto the internet and I've got a photo of a world map ideally somewhat high quality that we're going to turn into our dotted map. Ideally I would recommend you have a either solid white background or a solid colour background because it's going to make it very easy for us to select this and delete it afterwards. Now, when you put this map into your program, it will go in one of two ways. It will either paste it embedded or unembedded. I've made sure mine is unembedded just so I can show you guys if yours goes in that way. What unembedded means is that the image you've just pasted in is not actually stored in the Illustrator document itself. It's referencing it from say somewhere on your computer. Now what we wanna do is we wanna embed this and we wanna put it into our Illustrator document because we want to edit it. So as you'll see on my top bar, very simply, we hit embed. You just wanna hit okay. And now your image is embedded into the document itself. Now we have our image in Illustrator and we've embedded it. We can now do what is called an object mosaic. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to select your image and go up to object and choose object mosaic. Now what this does is this essentially breaks the image down into a load of tile, individual tiles and you can choose the number of tiles on your image and the tile spacing. Now, this massively depends on the map you're using, the amount of detail in it and the size as well. It's important to note that you wanna keep the same ratio of tiles to the size of the image. So what I normally do as a starting number is for example, I will do the same number as the, of, as the image size. So as you can see here, our image is 352 mil by 275 mil. Now I would just start with that, but I personally think that's gonna be way too big. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna half the number of tiles as the width. Now I am gonna to have to pull out a calculator because unfortunately my maths isn't amazing, is we're gonna go 352 divided by two, and that gives us 176. And we're gonna go 275 divided by two, which is gonna give us 137. And we're gonna hit okay. Now this might take a minute, so you're just gonna let it go. And there you have it. So there you can see all our image broken down into all of these squares. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna right click ungroup just to break it into pieces. And then you wanna go on your white arrow, which is your direct selection. And as you can see now, we can actually select the individual pixels. So what, I, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna select one of the white pixels and I'm gonna go select same fill color. As you'll see, it will select everything that is that solid white and we're gonna hit delete. That is why I recommend having a solid background color that is different to your image. Now, I'm also just gonna select this bar at the bottom and select all of that and hit delete as well. So now you can see we have our map and it is broken into squares. Now it's important to note that it does maintain the colour. So for example, if you have a map that is highlighted by country and you want that detail to be kept, it will also keep the colour. So then what you can do is you can go select same as again and you can select all of that colour in the map. Okay, so now we have our pixelated map. We're going to now convert them into the circles. So what I want to do is I want to select all of these individual pixels um, being careful not to select the frame. So if you can see I'm on the frame now, I'm just gonna move over a very small bit and I'm gonna click and drag and select all of these objects. So as you can see, we haven't got the frame. Now quickly, you're just gonna wanna zoom in a bit so you can see the individual squares. You'll see why in a minute. Now, the way we're gonna turn these into circles are we're simply gonna go to effect, convert to shape and ellipse. Ellipse just means circle. 
you'll get this pop-up and the first thing you want to do is change it from relative to absolute. This will determine the exact size of the circles and it will center them in the individual squares. Now as you can see they're absolutely massive and if you remember when we calculated our tiles because we divided the image size by two to get our number of tiles we know our tiles are two by two millimeters. So I'm going to first put this in just to show you guys what it looks like. Now you just need to click back into the width once you've typed in the height because it doesn't update instantly. So what you can see here is we've now got circles but they're all touching. Now for my final effect I don't really want them all touching so I can simply make it a little bit smaller. So what I'm now going to try is I'm going to try 1.8 by 1.8 and see how this looks. And I'm going to click back onto width to see. So I'm actually very happy with this and I'm going to hit OK. Now we're going to zoom out. And that, very simply, is how you create your dotted map. Say, for example, you want to start colouring areas, so as you saw in my example, my project was based in Italy and I coloured in the area of Italy. Let's say, for example, your area is in Australia. You're going to select all of that. You can go to your colour tab, select a colour, say, for example, I want it dark blue, and hit OK. And now you'll see this area is in blue. Say, for example, you have a project somewhere else. You can select this area and you can also recolor that. Now, as I mentioned, if you have a map that is already broken up into countries or continents with their own color, you will now be able to, for example, select one pixel. And again, you can click select, same as fill color, and you'll be able to select all of that color. So if you have this with the countries, you can now select whatever colors you want, and you can always recolor them to your own aesthetic. So guys, that's all for this video. Hope you found it helpful. Click here to see some other tutorials and I'll catch you guys in another video. Take it easy.